Greetings, 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 greetings. I, I started, I told you on Sunday Night Live that uh, I'll start um, this year. I'm going to start going live far more often. Uh, also, and posting to the blog far more often. So, um, wanted to, uh, wanted to um, uh, discuss the... Um, the uh, post, um, the uh, three-minute excerpt or three-minute clip of Bishop Irvin Sims' uh, homegoing, national homegoing service on today. Um, I've noticed that it's gotten, a, I guess it's what, gone viral or a lot of people have um, shared it. A lot of people have um, commented and um, um, have offered, you know, their opinions and, um, their commentary in regard to what, um, what occurred. So I am going to, uh, address it and give a little bit of insight and, uh, a little bit of, uh, history that uh, many of you all may or may not be privy to, especially those of you that are not um, um, in uh, the Church of God in Christ denomination. And so you probably, uh, you know, was speaking out of turn and um, just do not know our way of uh, protocol and doing things. And, um, um, uh, which is why you would say that. And I saw, I saw, I've, I've seen so many, or I've seen a few of the comments. I, like one guy said, oh, this is a, is this a new level of disrespect for Kojic? Let me tell you something. The actions of one person does not reflect our, our entire denomination. And that's very ignorant. I, I, I mean, how many of these, uh, how many of these uh, off-brand organizations that you all are a part of and affiliated with that use um, Church of God in Christ as your litmus test? You use us as the measuring stick of how and what protocol is. Many of you, many of you in, in, in these uh, independent uh, Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck situations wouldn't even know what you were doing and wouldn't even have any kind of idea of what to do or how to do it if you was not imitating and copying what Church of God in Christ does. Am I talking right? So anyway, um, that that's just um, that's just the the reality of it. Um, so anyway, you all, uh, jump on in here, uh, jump on in here. So we're going to, we're going to talk about, <laughs> we're going to talk about, but I, I, I know that a lot of you feel and people, um, uh, have said, first of all, none of us know what's going to happen on that other side. So all of this about and trying to cast uh, judgment on Bishop Irvin Sims and what if he was harboring something in in his heart. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, especially as somebody that uh, 
uh, you know, has been attacked and constantly attacked, just like you see, you know, those stupid people that's on here with the hate faces and what have you. Let me tell you something. When people uh, and when th certain things have happened to you um, and and happen at the hands of uh, a, 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 another person, um there are there there is diff th there is difficulty in moving away from that there's difficulty i will never i will never the people that i have found out and pay hard earned money to find out that uh was behind and and do some of the little things that they do um uh uh behind uh the keys of their computers and and uh this whole like cyberbullying thing i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you and i'm gonna be very clear that somebody will wind up getting hurt or perhaps will not be there anymore. Uh, and that's just real. And you can take that to the authorities. You can take that to whoever you need to take it to. But it's some lines that you cross that it ain't going to be no forgiveness. It's some pains and some hurts, not that you may necessarily inflict on them, but you inflict on people that are associated with them and people that love them that will never will never forgive, will never let it go, will never, will never. So there is some history. I One, one thing that I can say, although it, it was very um, much, uh, it was unfortunate and inappropriate and out of order and, and what have you, and all of those words, I... <laughs> I admire that man. That man stood firm to his conviction. I mean, he stood firm. You know, a lot of people talk a lot of stuff about, ooh, I'll do this and I would do that and what have you. Baby, let me tell you something. That, that man's conviction got him up out of his seat. And made him rise to the occasion. And he mounted that platform and took that mic out of his hand. I, <laughs> I and you know, it, it was shocking. But he, I, I mean, um, It it was it it was very 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 shocking, and. Uh, unfortunate. So, some of the backstory, some of the uh, uh, backstory is um, Mother Mary Kay Sims, Bishop Irving Sims' uh, wife, was uh, now that jurisdiction in Kansas City is um, the uh, Bishop Lemuel Thuston, who is our chairman of the General Assembly. That is, that was his jurisdiction. Uh, Bishop Sims and all of those uh, uh, people were a part of that jurisdiction. Now his mother, his mother, Bishop Thuston's mother, was the jurisdictional supervisor um, until they emeritized her as she got uh, up and um, uh, up and um, up in age. Um, and so um, and then he uh, I can't remember the I can't right now the name of that uh, of the bishop before him. I can't think of his name, but uh, he uh, he became the jurisdictional 
uh, bishop of the uh, of that jurisdiction. Bishop Thuston became the jurisdictional bishop of the jurisdiction that his mother was um, the supervisor of. And uh, while he was jurisdictional bishop, he uh, appointed Mother Mary K. Sims, um, um, the wife of Bishop Irvin Sims, to be his supervisor. And uh, there was some contention. Um, there was some contention. And um, there uh, was... Uh, some unfortunate occurrences um, that uh, led to um, uh, Mother Sims resigning as the supervisor for that jurisdiction. Now, uh, she did resign after uh, uh, her husband was appointed to be a foreign um, a foreign bishop, and then they pulled out and left the um, left the jurisdiction. So that was some of the riff. Then there was also some difficulty and some decisions that uh, Bishop Thuston made that affected uh, Bishop Sims' brother who is also a pastor in that jurisdiction. So you have some rift between this man's uh, wife and his bishop and his brother and his bishop. And so it just evidently, perhaps, maybe we can all speculate, we don't actually know, uh, went unresolved that um, led to the man that they said was a deacon um, feeling uh, feeling um, convicted enough and um, to interrupt um, interrupt uh, Bishop Thuston's remarks. Now, when an official uh, when a, a a bishop in the Church of God in Christ passes, um, that bishop served a local assembly. He served as a pastor of a local church. So he has a local funeral where officers and uh, people that served and worked with him in ministry in his local assembly, they speak, they are uh, showcased, they, they sing, they're on program in his local service. In a national funeral, you're not going to see a person from a bishop's local church make a remark. That's not how our church operates. That's not our protocol. That's not going to happen. That's going to happen at his local assembly. Then he has a jurisdictional or what we call a state funeral. And that is where the men and the people that worked with him in his jurisdiction in his jurisdiction, then that's where they are recognized and they make remarks. So he has administrative assistant, his supervisor, his um, uh, 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 department heads and things of that sort. They, they uh, will speak and bring remarks as they have worked with that jurisdictional bishop. That third service, where they're recognized as a national leader and officer in the church, that is Bishop Blake's service. The national church at that moment comes in and you no longer, when you become a bishop in the Church of God in Christ, when you go in those chambers, it is explained very clearly to you that you 
relinquish your rights to the church and the national church comes in. And at that service, you make no determination. You make you make no consention. All national officers, whether you like them or not, they are coming in. The national supervisor, if she's not there, it'll be her designee. Um, uh, Bishop uh, uh, Shear, chairman of the board of bishops, he was not able to be there. So he, uh, his designee was uh, Bishop uh, uh, Mark Johnson. He, but he made the remarks. That's that's how our church operates. That's our protocol. And so uh, to say, um, oh, I don't want this person and this person. Well, that's just not going to happen. And so you you saw today that it did um, it did not um, it did not uh, go down. Now, and it ha- I have been I have been in funerals. Um, and it's not funny because it's some that you know that I could name where it was it was some tension. Um, they you know may not have gone out, or some of the li- the living spouse uh, may not have felt like they wanted um, a, a particular person to speak or preach or or uh, deliver the eulogy or what have you. It look <laughs> when you came in and decided to be a part of the organization, you relinquish that uh you relinquish that right. And it's going to it's going to happen um you know, largely whether you like it or not. Um so um I just thought it was interesting and I um uh, I think that it's part of the signs of the time. I think we're going to see a lot of more bold and gutsy stuff happen. I think um, I think that people and uh, security and adjutancy and things of that sort, I think that this is a clear um, example that you got to have folks on point because he approached and touched Bishop Thuston. He put his hands on Bishop Thuston's shoulder. He could have been shot, stabbed, um, or anything by the time um, people thought to take action and and respond. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know how he mounted the platform. Uh, how many people saw him? Um, making a move to get up there, but he got all the way up there in a service that was being streamed live and um, uh, said what he said and did what he did. Now, now, although, and Bishop said that, uh, I thought Bishop was um, uh, monumental and how he was able to, uh, in a knee jerk reaction, uh, immediately uh, set the tone and, and and bring back control and knew just what to say and how to say it uh, uh, appropriately and um, uh, somewhat put a salve on um, the level of embarrassment that uh, Bishop Thuston endured. Now, I'm going to say this. And y'all may not like it, but I'm going to go on and say it because I say a lot of stuff that people don't like and I really don't care. Now, you had to really do something in life. Am I talking good? Am I talking right? You had to really do something major and that must have been hurtful and painful for someone to respond and behave at your funeral in that manner. Would you all agree? Um, uh, 
I I don't know. Um, my phone has been ringing off the hook all day. But you, for 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 someone that evidently loved and respected and served um, their pastor and their leader to feel that level of conviction um, that he would mount. He he had no idea uh, Kojic security could have uh, jumped him. He could have been arrested. He could have been ejected from the, I mean, uh, a whole lot. He really felt strongly and passionately about whatever had transpired between those two men for him to respond in that way. And this is the part, this is the part, and I'm going to say this because the majority of my followers and people are church people. This is the part, live your life in such a way that you live your, you you preach and your life preaches your eulogy. Live and conduct. Bishops, let this be a sign and a warning to bishops and leaders to not mess around with folks' lives, not mess around with folks' hearts, not mess around with, 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 with folks' ministries and with their churches and making uh, uh, decisions um, that, that based upon emotion and, and based upon how you feel and not for the uh the greater the greater good and what have you we we have a lot of times uh we set this one up we take this one down we approve this one we disapprove that one we we uh we uh condemn this one um uh for sin look at the look at the church do you want do you want to examine it okay we got some we got some men that have had bastard children their bishops, their bishops, their pastors, they still have their ministry. We have some men that, uh, uh, one man, he's an adjutant general for a member of the general board. He was busted having sex in his office underneath a picture of Jesus and his wife. He was never, he was never removed as pastor. You have some bishops that have bastard children that in in their and was made bishop, and then you have some that have been caught up in affairs. You have some that 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 have slept with their wives' adjutants and had children, and they still made bishop. And then you have some like Bishop Rufus Kyles that was busted acquitted and still stripped still taken down so why is it some good for some over here and then it's not good or not welcoming for some over there that kind of stuff is painful that kind of stuff is humiliating that kind of stuff is hurtful when you have people that have been a part of a religious denomination and organization all of their lives and have been totally sold out and committed to it and then something unfortunate happens whether they're guilty or not how long should you be punished and why does our church and why did we allow our church to punish some men while honoring others? It's election. Let's start naming the names and calling the roll. If you got a baby and I know about it, I'm going to talk about it. If you stealing money and we know about it, we're going to expose it. 
Come out from among them and be ye sanctified. It's time to live holy and stop playing with people and stop playing with folks' families and start stop going in and and make and then we as a as a organization and as a denomination, we have got to begin to find a way to hear folks' grievances and take their grievances seriously without them having to go to the world's court. Far too often, a lot of the stuff that's unfortunate that happens in our church and happens amongst pastors and amongst leaders and things of that sort could be resolved if when they make the grievance, it's taken seriously and heard. Instead of the only time we get to the point where we take it seriously is when that person gets lawyered up and when they and when they file a suit. And the only reason why they're filing suit is because they think we're such a big organization and they think we so rich and we got so much money and they come in with their hands out. And then we, and, and then nine times out of ten, the church doesn't want to deal with the uh, with the lawsuit and with the trial. So most times they negotiate and come to some terms and settle out of court and give the and, and we wind up writing this person a check, writing a check, and hopefully sending them on their way instead of addressing the matter at hand. Y'all know people that are bishops right now. Y'all know people that are bishops right now. There's some that have gotten away with some very egregious things and then some that have been punished. Than some that's been to punish. All right, so what's some of these comments? Let's talk about it. I know I and oh my gosh, so many people say, Oh, you shouldn't have put it up. Why not? It's a it, it it was a it was breaking news, it was shocking, it was something that we had never seen before, something that we it was a teachable moment and something that we could learn from and something that we need to talk about and discuss so that we can eventually do better. That's the purpose. Okay. Antonio Wilson says, William McCray, the church is political. Don't be a fool. Brian Thompson, are you serious? Uh, Kelvin Beasley, denominations. Uh, Antonio says, I know a few bishops I have smashed. <laughs> okay. Oh my. If what does smash mean? Define smash. Uh Chantel says, Yes, sir, you're talking right. Uh Candace, someone has to talk about this. Yes, we have to discuss it. We have to di- we have to discuss it. We have to discuss it. We have we, we do do you need to go to somebody? Do you need to get somebody's phone number or do you need to go by their church and say, hey, man, I was caught up um, in such and such, such and such. And I had an air uh, 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 air in judgment and um, I should not have uh, done something. You know, can you forgive me? Can you find it in your heart? To uh to forgive me uh of 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 this infraction, I thought I was making the right decision. I mean, some stuff. Can we just like talk it out? And then how long? Do, how long are you gonna punish some people? So, so you know, so how many how many others is gonna have to stand up and say? He stood firm on his and then and then he took the mic. He took that mic and then he ran off and Kirk 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 Thompson had to grab. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! 
Kirk Johnson and see he was a big joker. See, if they had to if they had to wrestle with him, if they had to tussle with him, he, he was a big I would I wonder where was Macmillan. See, Macmillan, it, it, I think it would have gone down a little bit different had Macmillan been there. Cause you know Macmillan, he's a, a detective out of uh out of Baltimore and Macmillan ain't, and Macmillan don't play no games. It, it's uh it's just y'all see, baby, them adjectives with the standing up. See, they needed they needed that security, uh Lewis Hewley. See, they need some big junkers like Lewis. Lewis, I'm when I'm in Lewis. Lewis, he's about uh I think he about six five and every bit of about four hundred pounds. He's a big he is a big see, they needed somebody. They needed some big junkers like Lewis Hewley. Somebody that was going uh 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 with now what I haven't been able to find out and I've been trying to uh I've been trying to find out um uh uh, is who was that woman hollering? Did y'all hear it? Oh, I love you. <laughs> I was, yeah, I'm not laughing, but I was like, who is this hollering? Because it was a hush. It was a hush that it came over that church. I don't think any of us had ever seen, I, you know, that's a, that was so like, are we watching Greenleaf? <laughs> was this, was this, <laughs> was this a, uh, was this one of them, uh, was this a Tyler Perry, uh, 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 one of those, uh, gospel plays? Was this a stage play? So she said, I love you. Help. And then she said, then she said, did y'all hear? She said, help me, help me, Bishop. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else does this say? John, John King, uh, the church like to sweep under the rug. They have their uh, favorite. Okay. Oh, his thing went away. Um, Right, call me. Um, Candace says Bishop Groupie. Uh, Lewis is laughing. John King says that's why I left the church. Too much politics and drama and jealousy. Well, John, where did you go? Are are you backslidden? Or did you go to another? Did you go to an off brand denomination? See, a lot of times y'all get mad and y'all uh, y'all leave. Because you didn't have you didn't have no strong backbone, see you can't stand you can't take nothing, see you can't take nothing. That's why y'all need to shut some of these places down, and see some of y'all, some of y'all. Let me say this. Oh, I'm a walk heavy. See, some of y'all need to close your churches, cause you ain't called, cause you can't go through nothing. See, if you can't go through anything. And you can't, and you, the Bible says, endure hardness <laughs> like a good soldier. You got, baby, if you go be over here on the Lord's side, you got to be ready to go through. You, come on here. You got to be, you got to have, you got to have some backbone. You got to be able to go through some things. You got to be able to endure. Come on. You got to endure. You got to do a persecution. He says to know me. He said, if you want to glory with me in my resurrection, you got to know me in the fellowship of my suffering. You got you got to go through. See, and some of y'all can't go through nothing and y'all can't submit and y'all can't obey nobody. But you want somebody to follow you and see you get mad as soon as you don't get your way and you pout and then you pull out and then you out in the wilderness. See, you a wild ass on the run. But baby, some of y'all got to re y'all got to remember Second uh, Corinthians the uh, 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 what is it Second Corinthians the uh, second chapter where they said and turn his flesh over to the devil that his soul might be saved. See, that's a so a lot of us we we can't. We can't tolerate and we can't go through. Um, we can't go through anything. See, just like them, just like the haters that come on. Isn't it something that I must really, I must really 
be very important when you have people that hate you, that pay more attention to you and follow your page and and they ought to see that they're not going to win. Baby, only only death and I'll talk from the grave. Only death. It ain't nothing you can do. It ain't and it sure ain't nothing you can click on no on no web that was shutting me down. It ain't it, it ain't gonna happen, baby. It will never, it will never happen. It will never happen. So you might as well go on and get tired and go on and give up. Cause the more the more you act a fool, the more you may motivate me. <laughs> the more you the more you make me, the more you motivate me to dig in deeper and go harder and go more. Oh, you let me you let me walk with it. The more the more the more you come up, the more you rise up against me. The greater I'm gonna the I'm gonna wax greater and greater. Right in front of, right in your face. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what else are you all are saying. Anthony Richard says, yes, I love me some Sir William. They don't like this kind of teacher. No, they don't like it. Uh, Chantel says, go away, haters with the evil faces. Uh, Lewis says, nothing to nobody. Cause, listen, listen, your, uh, your people that hate you, they let you know to the to how great of an influence you are and how important you are. All right, you all. I just wanted to come on and talk about that for uh, briefly. Anybody else that has any kind of uh, any questions or uh, any um, any um, uh, I'm trying to see um, any follow up or any commentary that you uh, want to um, that you um, want to give. Definitely, you can uh, go on and. Uh, send your, uh, put your questions up and, uh, I will answer them to the, to the, uh, to the best of my, um, to the best of my ability. See, I can't see. <laughs> I got to put my glasses on. I can't, I can't see. I can't, I, those, it just turned into little black lines. Okay. Verick Butler, so what did the church do to the late bishop? Okay. When you say the church, what do you mean? The church, I, I did not explain that. Y'all have to go back and tell Verick because I guess he wasn't watching in the beginning. Uh, Anthony says, when you going to go live again? I need your wisdom. Oh, we need a Popeye's drive through. I'm trying to diet. I'm trying to. I'm trying to do better. Y'all want me to go and? Uh, what's the deal with Keon Henderson? He's divorced. He's divorced. What you mean? What's the deal? What you mean? What's the deal? You saw the. Uh, uh, I'm still waiting. That boy wants to be paid for that sex tape. I ain't gonna give him a dime. I'm not gonna give him a dime for that sex tape. They took a steal. They took a, a screenshot of him while they was uh, on there. But that girl is divorcing him, to my understanding. Anybody down there in Houston? Where's my Houston street members of my uh, street committee from Houston? David uh, laughing. What you laughing for, boy? <laughs> David has a um, he has a uh, college service, a monthly college service. Uh, Kevin Beasley says, "You see, Bishop Quincy Lavelle Cos will pass away funerals next Wednesday." Yes, I'm I'm well aware, Kelvin. Yes, sir. It'll be a covenant. My daughter goes to his church. Well, why you don't ask your daughter? Your daughter's sitting up in there. Why you don't ask your daughter what's going on over there at Lighthouse? Yeah, they supposed to be divorcing. 
Keon preached in aim. Absolutely. Yes, he did. Um, Bishop Quincy LaBelle Coswell's service is going to be next week at his church, Covenant, in DeKalb County. Uh, what is that? 285. I think that's 285 in Glenwood. Bishop Blake, I thought Bishop Blake, I thought Bishop Blake, uh, I, I thought he was very impressive. I thought he was very impressive and he came uh, immediately on point with the uh, appropriate response and uh, ways to, uh, uh, ways to, uh, ways to respond. So I thought that was, uh, I thought that was uh I thought that was really good. So he um he re he just I mean it, it meaning he said are we isn't it wonderful that we are uh uh godly saints. Come on here. It's never a dull moment with the saints, baby. I do I love the church. Come on here. Do you love the church? I love the church. I could I couldn't live without it. I love it. All drama and all. Very impressive, Bishop. Yes, I thought it was. Uh, yes, he he shut it down quickly because I think it could have, I think it could have, uh, I think it could have accelerated, and it could have gotten ugly. Mm hmm. Um, Bishop Blake was on top of his game for sure today. He did excellent. Yes. Yes. I mean, oh my gosh. How how much better can you do? Just Sunday he burned his mortgage. Um he's uh I do I stand corrected. He uh burned the mortgage on uh on his church and they are selling uh they sold the North Campus for forty million um for forty million dollars, but they have a agreement that they'll be able to utilize that property for the next three years um, as they build their family life center. Um, okay, Lenny Nice says, Sir William, you stay sharp, always snatched and pulled together. Thank you. You know what? I want to do a story. Oh, le oh y'all, let, um, let me go on and do this. Let me go on and do this. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, my, um, my cash app. I want to thank all of the donations that came in to my ministry um, on Sunday night. I was just, I was so touched. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I was so I was so touched by the uh by the saints of God that um thought it not robbery to bless me and my um and my ministry. So for those of you in my cash app is Sir William G. McCray the third. For those of you that are feel so inclined um to um to share of your substance, I um I really do appreciate that. So I think it was a good, it was a nice number of people that um, supported me. And that, that touches me. That, that, that really does. And it's such an encouragement, especially when you have so many people that um, they want to see you fail. But God has it, uh, has it such that um, he's not going to allow it to happen. Um... Oh, okay, the donor, you can cash at me. Yes, the, uh, you see my cash app? My cash app is Sir William, uh, dollar sign, Sir William G, uh, uh, Sir William G McCray, I, I, I. Um, thank you. Thank you, Anthony. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Um, 
Um, and I, uh, I thank you all so much. So anyway, I just wanted to come on. I said we're going to uh, start coming on from far more often. Uh, ObnoxiousTelevision.com, uh, all of my social media. Y'all know how to follow me on Facebook, on Twitter, and uh, Instagram, and all of that. All right, uh, uh, Washington, D.C., one of my favorite cities in the nation. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, um, thank you for uh, uh, Janice. Janice, I um, I uh, covered the Hawks game and just got in, and I wanted to um, go live and address um, address the post. And um, I'm getting ready to be able to. Um, uh, retire for the evening. Yes, yes, yes. Uh huh. So I uh, appreciate that. Um, and all of that. So thank you all for uh, logging on and um, listening. I don't know if there's any other questions. Was anybody else uh, um, that may have had uh, something? Uh, let me see. Did I get, did I address? I got, I guess I got everybody. I got the majority of the comments. Oh, here, LaShawn Tarkington. It happens in all denominations. Mom said he was lucky they didn't take him out uh, and that the security should have been, uh, should have been uh, fired on site. Um, I don't know, because, you know, I think a lot of times I think that we just, we don't know what direction to move in. You know what I mean? Some things can happen so bizarre that you don't know how to respond. You know what I mean? It, you know, it, 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 it was just so shocking. It was so... I touched something on this camera and I made the... Um, I made the lighting um, dark, seem like... I don't know what I'd be doing. Okay, what is this little... Oh, I don't know. I don't want to touch something and then something happen. Something go off. Um, okay, John Britt says, I just watched it. Bishop handled it well. Absolutely. Uh, all right, thank you so much, Anthony Richards. I really do appreciate that. I thank you so, 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 so very much. All right, everyone. Well, I'm going to jump off of here. Marquita English, North Center, Covington, uh, Highway. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Marquita English is from, um, uh, is it uh, Piney Grove? Uh, I had, I started, I was over there working with, um, one of the, oh, one of my mentors that I miss and love so much, Glenda Black. And you all had your, uh, you have a suite in that office building where Good News Magazine, where we worked. Yes, 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 Miss English. It's a pleasure. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for coming on and, and listening. Yes, yes, it's a long time. Long, long time. Oh my gosh. That is so, ah, uh, you have brought back so many memories. And you know, I loved, uh, I love Glenda Black. Uh, um, uh, mm, Reverend Jerry Black's um, widow. Uh, uh, well, he's a, his wife died. He's a widower. Um, and, but I was so close. She, um, she just really encouraged me and I worked with her and learned so much about journalism and the magazine and, uh, industry and the media industry. Um, and we was just, um, we was just thick as thieves. We was thick as thieves. I just, um, I, um, oh my gosh. Every Friday she had a standing um, uh, a, a appointment at the salon. And, oh, we went to the uh, Mike Tyson, Lennox Lewis fight together. Just so many, just so many uh, amazing memories. 
and uh, I worked uh, and, and learned a lot that I know right from her. So great, great having you on. Teresa Washington, Oakland, California, my hometown, um, is on. Uh, Marcus Burton, what's up, bro? What's going on? I think he's from Vegas, or he used to be from Vegas. How is happening, bro? All right, so y'all coming in. So anyway, I just wanted to come on and talk about the post and give y'all a little bit of the backstory on that and uh, 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 you know a little bit of the backstory and a little bit of the facts and um, let's just do better you know let's do better let's let's live in a way where at our service somebody won't cut up like that you know um, and they won't behave like that you know, so let's let's try to let's try and improve. Let's ca- call somebody, call somebody. You may call. You may have some people right now that you that you need to call and get it straight with, get it right with. You know, you might have to you might have to be the bigger person. You might have to be the bigger man or the bigger woman in the picture, and and call them and say, hey, you know what? I don't want you to be hating me. I don't want you to be harboring. I don't want to harbor feelings against you. I don't want you harboring negative feelings against me. Let's sit down. Let's talk about it. Let's work it out. Let's try to let's try to uh, come to some kind of resolve. You know, let's not always be trying to tear each other down and you know war against each other and fight against each other. You know, so it's, it's a lot going on. It's a lot. Okay. Um, she says, yes, that was messy. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if uh, I would describe it as messy. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if messy is the adjective that, um, that I would use. Duchess is on here. Duchess, was you at the funeral today? Duchess lives in Kansas City. I wonder, Duchess, who was that man? That was his. That was the chairman of his deacon board, wasn't it? Um. Thank you, Anthony. Wow. It says that's why I love Sir William. When my day is hard. You give uh, good words of wisdom and enlightenment. Thank you. Thank you. So true, says Alexander. Uh, uh, Michaels uh, says, hey, sis, who's the sis that you're talking to? So we got a fool on. Somebody that's dumb and stupid. Mm-hmm. See? And see, I like to meet you right where you are. See, I like to I like to meet you right right where right where you are. You wanna come on and, and, and be disrespectful. And clearly I'm sitting up here as a, a a man and you wanna say sis then you need to be talked about because you are you dumb and stupid and here it is your mama shit uh uh pushed you out and we all have to suffer with you see i want me to come on all the way out of character i could care less who you are i could care less who you are but i promise you one thing i promise you this as soon as I log off, you won't be on here no more. I know that. Ha! <laughs> I know. I know that for sure and for certain. Amen. What? Well, mm-hmm. well, you don't need to be talking to Kalima. You need to be talking to me. This is my live. When you want to address Kalima, you go over on Kalima's live. And you address her on her live. How you going to come to my live and speak to somebody else and not even have... See, you don't have good common sense. 
You don't have any kind of etiquette when you go. You gonna go if you go to uh, in somebody's house, uh, in somebody's office. You don't start speaking to their guests before you address them. You dumb. You uncouth. <laughs> yeah, you needed to come over here tonight because you need to get some help, and I'm the one anointed to help you from the foundation. You you spoke. I you spoke to her. Yeah, I know you spoke to her. But did you ever speak to me, Heffa? Did your dumb ass speak to me? No. Bye. Alexander, they don't like this kind of teaching. <laughs> and I walk hard and I don't let up. And I'm like the I'm like that man today, baby. He said he came up here. He said he said he said but he stood at that bike out of Thuston's head. He said I got to exercise those options. He said he said Bishop Sears made it clear. He said Bishop Sears made it clear that you was not to speak at this service. And uh and he said that we got to exercise those. <laughs> Woo! Baby, that was a shocker, wasn't it? That went throughout the land. I had to post it before the funeral was even over with. The funeral was still in uh was, was, was still going on when I was uh, had to get that uploaded. And we lift our hands and say thank you. She spoke to you earlier in in uh in the thing. Oh, okay. All right, well John is helping her. Okay. Well, you should have said something again. You should have kept on saying it until I saw it. <laughs> uh, she said, anyway, they said, don't get me right because you know it don't take it don't take nothing from you. I, you know, I could go from zero to a hundred in a minute in a matter of seconds. Sir William, uh, Sir William, she spoke to you. Oh, okay. All right. They helping you, baby. They helping you. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, I don't need nobody else coming on saying that she spoke to me. Y'all, under two or three of y'all, out of the Bible, say out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, let every word be established. So, two or three people done already said it, so y'all don't need to keep on saying it again. See, it ain't nothing dumb or retarded or slow or remedial over here. She said, that, that, right. Well, that's who you cuss out and go off on is your family. You're hard on your family than you are on anybody else. Am I talking right? Come on here. You chasing, you chasing those that you love, right? You whip them that you love. If you, if you was a bastard, then we let you go and, and we let you go and be on the run and wouldn't correct you. But those that you love, you, you chastise them and you correct them. Come on here. Oh, you Terrell, sister. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, who is this? We love you from Oakland. John, John, you from Oakland? All right. All right. Now, are you from, what part of Oakland are you from? Are you from the east? Or are you from the west? Or are you from north? What part of Oakland are you from? For uh, Alexander says, sir, brother, I love you. Wait a minute. Is this, uh, is this my prophetess? Is this, ah! I, mean, I think that's, I think that's old Holland. That's Holland, Alexander. <laughs> she wails and hollers. Oh, he from West Oakland. All right. All right. He from West Oakland. He down there in the hood. Yeah, well, it used to be the hood. Them white folks came over and took West Oakland over. Okay, y'all. Uh, okay, well, you all, I'm not going to hold you. I know the hour is far spent. We, I've already been on. Uh, I've been on an hour. Oh, my gosh. Uh, boy, time flies. Okay, so anyway, just wanted to jump on and address uh, address that. Whitville, North Carolina, in the house. Hey, Elder. All right. Uh, Car Cortez. Cortez Montez. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while. How you doing? 
uh, go live more often. I just went live Sunday and I'm alive tonight and it's Tuesday. My word. Y'all y'all act like y'all want me to go live every day. Jesus. Oh, you live by the Moscow. Oh, he lives. He lives in San Francisco by the Moscone Center. Oh, he, uh oh, you got it. Ja got a little change. Ja got a little money. Uh oh, uh oh. He over there in San Francisco. Yes, 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 yes. And high cotton. See there. Cause <laughs> you know California, California rents so high. You got folks living in cars and in uh, RVs and stuff all on the street, and we're uh, rolling up and in parking lots and stuff, and all that good stuff. He said, "You should. We love you. Thank you. I love you too. All right, all right." Mother Williams has logged on. I did. I went live on Sunday, Mother. I don't know why you didn't see it. I was on for almost an hour and a half. You have to go on my page and see it. I was on. Lewis says every day, Lewis, hush. Okay, who is this? Tens, man. I'm seeing it all of these lives. I now know what kind of people are around the world. Oh, okay. Shakim. Thomas. All right, you all. Well, I appreciate y'all for logging on and for listening. Hopefully, I brought some clarity and a little bit of understanding. And hopefully, this is a teachable moment and something that we can learn from. And so we and let us make and do better in in life, so that in death we won't have these kind of uh, embarrassing uh, and unfortunate occurrences uh, happen. And um, the one thing that I, the only thing that one thing, uh, or, or partially that I regret, is that um, um, Bishop Sims was such a, uh, a noble uh, man and such. Uh, he was a corporate giant in uh, Kansas City as well. I know that I think he was one of the top men for either their water or utility company, and um, uh, so he. Um, he did well, and also he had a premier church um, that he pastored, and so uh, uh, he did well in the secular industry as well as in church. And so I just hate that um, um, his homegoing celebration will have that um, that foreshadowing over it for uh, forever. Um, you know, it, that will always um be uh remembered and probably talked about um you know um uh moving forward so that's an uh uh that's unfortunate uh, bishop uh Irvin Sims out of Kansas City Missouri Kimberly Robinson Green. She says, you are absolutely my favorite. Thank you, baby. I appreciate that. Uh, Sherman Walker, you have a blessed night. And you too, do you do the same, my brother? Okay, let's see. How am I doing on time? Who's my timekeeper? Okay, we've been on an hour and two minutes, so... I'm going to uh, I'm going to jump on off of here. I appreciate everybody uh, like share all of that and uh, let me give you my let me give you my cash app again for those of you. Um, we got so many things um, coming up back to back and we need your help and support, Sir William W I L L. I am somebody got to teach me how to do a pen tweet so that it'll just be up there. All right, a Y one, two, three, and then click like that. Okay. Um, um, and, um, hopefully you'll find it in your heart to, uh, 
to assist. All right, y'all. Thanks so, so, so very much. Like and share and all of that good stuff. Appreciate you.